I demonstrate a note abnormalities in my visual and auditory fields. My tactile perception is also within normal limits. There is no agrophysia. This means that my senses of sight, hearing, and touch are grossly intact. I did demonstrate a low average range bridge strength with my right hand as compared to others. <clears throat> my age <clears throat> indicating some muscular weakness. However, my fine motor skills were within average to high average ranges tested through a task where I was asked to tap a key with my index finger as fast as I could. Although I report that I am right handed and throughout the lateral dominance exam, I consistently indicated right side dominance in handedness, sight, and footedness. My performance on the grip strength test was better with my left hand. This finding is non significant in the absence of other indicators of right hemisphere damage. There is no evidence of apraxia in the lateral domination examination. To summarize, there are no significant evidence of gross disturbances in sensory or motor function obtained during current testing. Visual memory and learning. Overall, my verbal memory is, it is within the average range on a test involving remembering lists of words. My performance overall was average. After hearing a list of words once, I remembered as much as most men my age scoring in the average range. Repetition of the list seems to help me remember more as much as most my age. When, he, when I'm able to remember material that I've heard, I tend to remember more recent information and information from the beginning of the set and less from the middle. Percent recall from primacy, 80%. Percent recall from middle, 52%. Percent recall from recency, 80%. This indicates that too much information overloads. I'm best able to remember information when it is provided in small blocks with breaks in between. Intervening data does not appear to disrupt my ability to remember very much, meaning that I am able to retrieve information that has been encoded as well as others my age performing the average range. Following a long delay, I was able to remember additional information indicating that it may take time for me to encode information into memory. My performance in the average range for delayed recall indicates that once I have encoded data into memory, I'm able to retain it. Queuing also seems to help me remember more, but my performance remained in the average range. Um, then it goes on to uh, more of this verbal stuff. Language and verbal abilities. Um, that's where I, you know, did, as I said before, I did really well with that. Um, but then visual processing and visual motor integration. Uh, overall, I demonstrate difficulty in processing visual information at an elementary level. Performing in the borderline to extremely low range. On a task where I was asked to notice what is missing from pictures, I performed in the borderline range. Similarly, I performed in the extremely low range on a task where I was asked to draw shapes that correspond to specific numbers. These results indicate that I have difficulty in visual processing with simple information. This, my performance may also have been low due to a slower processing speed, given this was a, this was a time test. And anyway, it says that I had a problem with drawing the complex designs and more of the, about the pencil grip problem, getting lost in detail. Um, low average range in a, on a construction task. Um, average range on the is a face test. Identifying faces. Uh, average <coughs> abstract reasoning abilities. And, uh, 
for my academic achievement, I performed in the high average range in both reading and spelling. My arithmetic's in the low average range, as compared with others my age. And it says, uh, you know, my psychological functioning assessment. It says, I appear to be very withdrawn and tend to internalize my experience. Uh, this does not mean that I do not desire closer interpersonal relationships. There is evidence in the testing that I have a limited capacity to form close attachments and tend to keep others at arm's length. I seem to expect interactions with others to take on a more competitive and aggressive rather than cooperative or understanding tone. I mistrust others profoundly and appear to be afraid of my own aggressive impulses and interpersonal relationships. I am inclined to see the world in a narrow, unconventional way. This uh, may distance me from the complexities of my experience with others and leave me feeling mis both misunderstood and confused in interactions with others. I may tend to lead a restricted life in which I avoid new situations and stick to familiar surroundings and the company of people who accept me as I am. These, are, these findings are consistent with my long-standing history of peer reactions, of bullying and teasing uh, to my differences, as well as my self-reported feeling that I left my social skills behind during high school. In the context of my instability at home, moving from home to, his grand, to my grandparents and back again, I may have developed the adaptive defenses of withdrawn, sticking with familiar, internalizing the experience. However, these once adaptive defenses may leave me with limited capacity to identify comfortably with real people in my life, instead opting for part objects or imaginary figures and fantasy. I appear to be severely depressed and anxious. I endorse both severe depressive symptoms and severe anxiety symptoms. I appear to be at high risk for suicide potential. Uh, my tendency for depression and anxiety appear to be of a chronic nature. This, this is consistent with my report of long-standing difficulties with fear and terror in grade school and resulting depressive symptoms. There is also indication that I am experiencing a fair amount of situational stress resulting from self-critical attitudes related to feelings of regret and remorse. The levels of my emotional stress appear to be interfering substantially with my pleasure in life and producing, and producing a modest amount of intrusive ideation of worrying about my future. There is evidence in the testing that I tend to internalize strong emotional effects and may not make my feelings known to others. I appear to be as willing as most people to process emotional experience internally, but sometimes become overwhelmed and may be unable to exert self-control and keep my emotions in check. I seem to have fewer resources than most people to cope with both emotional and daily demands because I tend to be a doer rather than a thinker. I may express my effect dramatically and intensely with these moments of limited frustration, tolerance, and impulse control. At the present, however, I seem to be managing these demands by adaptively keeping stressful experiences at a minimum. My decision to take time off from school and seek psychotherapy to identify and work through my problems point to my resiliency and motivation to gain a sense of control over my life. This indicates a personality asset for me. And then it goes on um, more about me um, and the diagnosis says. Uh, that I <clears throat> meet some criteria for Asperger's, uh, qualitative impairment in social interaction is manifested by marked impairment in the use of multiple nonverbal behaviors such as eye-to-eye -eye gaze, facial expression, body postures, and gestures to regulate social interaction. Failure to develop peer relationships appropriate to developmental level. This disturbance